This video is sponsored by Squarespace. As of right now, there's a lot of warfare when it comes to what the best pair of pants are. Team Baggy, Team Skinny, the Cargo Crew, the Flared Freaks, the Sweat Squad, the Pleated Platoon, the Loners. The competition's pretty hot right now. It's like that summer when everyone played Pokemon Go and you were like unnecessarily ride or die for your team. I remember there was a time where like me and my friends would totally bully and pick apart this one kid and make him cry just because he was team mystic. And like we didn't even play Pokemon Go. But now for pants, I feel like we're seeing very similar microaggressions online. Skinny jeans gotta go. Baggy pants people be like, and this discourse is cool and all, but I'll be honest, bro. I want to be on the winning team. So today I figure we just settled this. Today we're going to figure out what the best pants are in fashion once and for all. So to find the best pants in fashion, obviously we got to pit them against each other. So I did what needed to be done to facilitate an experiment like this. I got one regular enjoyer of each different type of pants out there. And then I put them all in one room and I'm just gonna leave them there and make them fight until there's only one guy left. This is a primal means of determining dominance. And figuratively and literally speaking, the last guy standing wears the pants in that room and I wanna wear what he has on. But in the meantime, let's figure out what the best pants even means. So when you think of the best of anything, right? Just the goats of the world. From sports, to music, to movies, to shows, to, to even like fast food restaurants. Highly contested topics right here. The number one shared quality in all the best things in these categories is consistency. You can't be the best without quality filled consistency. It's just true. That's just how it is. In sports, there are stats. In movies, there are ratings. But for fashion, I feel like this type of score is based on wares. How many consistent quality wares or fits can you pull off with these pants? And so to make this answer simple for the question of what are the best pants, the best pants are the pants that you're gonna wear every day. And to make it personal, the best pants are the pants that you're gonna wear every day. Emphasizing that you're, because everyone's different, we're all gonna have a different goat. But here, I'll give you some guidance into making that decision for yourself. I usually break a pair of pants down into these three things that I'm about to show you. It's really all you need. And I'll give you my preferences on different scenarios so that you have better context on what could work for you. For the first big three, I wanna start with material. What kind of material should you be going for right now? There's always the reliable and universal denim that we all love, which is essentially a type of cotton, but there are millions of different cotton blends and just other materials like nylon and even polyester. How do you pick what's best from this insanely large pool? Like there are some cool pleated issy pants that I always find really cool in photos and just look really good on others. And a lot of people consider these to be in the goat conversation of pants. But personally for me, I just feel like they don't really look as good on me on a regular day-to-day -day outfit. And if I'm styling these up, I would rather just go crazier with another pair of pants. But again, the best pants are the pants you're gonna wear every day. You're not gonna have the need to look super cool every day. Most days, you're just trying to get by. But that means style reliability and comfort. You need a reliable pair of pants that will look good in most things without costing you your quality of life. And you know what happens to be a good combo for both of those? Denim, but not like 100% heavyweight denim, what people consider to be quality. Talk to me about salvage denim after putting on a pair in this weather right now, okay? It feels like this. So that's a minus one for the loners. And also, I feel like you can't have pants that are too stiff. You don't leave enough room for activities, you know? Like, what if you just have to run? Or what if you gotta like save your girl in that, like if there's an instant moment of your group needs you right now, your group needs you right now, who's gonna carry the boats? So that perfect solution for the materials part, at least in my opinion, is that 2% elastane blend. This, this right here, that 2% of magic. This will fix all your problems. And I know this idea of stretch just kind of adds this stigma of cheap to it. 
but that's why you need a little meat. It feels really good. And honestly, if your pants aren't skin tight, you won't really notice a difference in the look. Just check the material of the pants for that extra 2% elastane. Even 1%, you know, just give yourself some room. These raised online watermark jeans are 2% stretch. I wear them every day. I can do whatever I want in them. I will carry the boats. Also, those are out right now at raised.online. Obviously, I would make the best pair of pants for myself. But I promise there is more to this whole best pants idea than just putting a little bit of stretch. So let's move on. The next step in this three-piece combo is color. I know this seems easy right now. It's This looks so easy. Like, how is this a problem? How is picking a color a problem? Well, for everyone that thinks it's that easy, it is that easy. I feel like people overcomplicate the idea of wash and color. See, in photos, right? In photos, some differences might be clear as day. And like, look at these two photos. The differences are crazy. I mean, who really cares? But in you, visually, there are differences. But in practice, in real life, in sunlight, in real life, and people are wearing the pants, I promise you, you don't notice this. You can't tell. This stuff is so marginal. Who cares? I mean, you can care if you want. That is fine. I don't, I'm not gonna police your ideas, but don't overthink this part if you don't want to. Just get an idea of the palette of your wardrobe and then find a wash that pairs with that palette. When in doubt, just get a faded blue that goes with everything, honestly. Just don't think about it too much. The last step in this pants sign of the cross is shape. And not just your own measurements and how the jeans fit, but the cut of the jeans as well, how it finishes, the different parts to it. So this part, maybe you can overthink this part. I feel like this is actually a big deal and that people will actually notice this one. Just a slight miscalculation in this could be catastrophic. With the shape part, with this part of pants, you're an inch away from happiness. You're this close. You have this, this is your margin for error right now. You're this close to messing it all up for yourself. You are an inch away from happiness, if you know what I mean. This meme, how girls see guys that are 5'11 versus six feet. See, that's real with pants though. That's actually, that's actually how it is with pants though. I put this part last because this is the climax. This is the actual important part. How you proceed from here and make choices on the shape and measurements of your best pants, split your life into two timelines right now. Your life splits into two timelines right now. On one hand, you have a happy filled life where you meet your soulmate and you travel the world together and see the world together, have a family and achieve every single thing you've ever wanted to in life and you look really good in pants or, or, you look really bad in pants. Pay attention. Pay attention. Call, Call me asparagus. Call, Call me ex fit is the bottleneck of all things, especially pants. I talk about it in my last video. Get your damn measurements. Here's the chart for pants again. Pause the video right now and go figure this out. I'll wait. Actually, you know, I won't wait. There's no time. Go figure this out on your own time. Okay, so shapes, lots of shapes. There are so many shapes. How am I supposed to make this decision with this many shapes out there? Oh, Call oh, me oh, experiment. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I have a hack. I do. I have a cheat code that I've been using. This will change your entire perspective on pants. Or you'll be like, oh, I'm already doing that. Where in that case, like, yeah, you got to figure it out. Or anyways, for people hearing this for the first time, you will feel dumb for not thinking about it this way. The secret to pants shape is your shoes. Your shoes. Just look at your most worn or favorite shoes. Find a shape of pants that complements that. Whether you figure it out or you go online and look at what people are wearing with those shoes. Find the pants that complement the shoes. That's all you need to do. It is the most effective and efficient way to approach this. There are other factors that come into play for sure, but if you get this part dialed, how your pants and your shoes pair, everything else will fall into place, I promise you. For example, I love wearing boots right now. I just find them very comfortable on my feet. This has been my most worn shoe lately. And so by effect, I really like the way flared pants look on boots. So I've been wearing flared pants. I engineered the perfect pair of pants for myself. What do you want me to do? If you like casual or athletic sneakers, which is kind of a big part of the market right now, a lot of people love that. Maybe you want a neutral straight fit to let the shoes shine. Usually this pants silhouette works with both low tops and high tops. Let your pants facilitate your footwear and then everything else in your wardrobe will fall into place. But again, get your measurements. Just get your measurements so that any of this even works. None of this matters 
if your pants suck. Anyways, these three things right here, material, color, and shape, are really the only three things that you need to put some critical thought in when getting a best pair of pants. You can use this for anything in fashion, really. I'm just glad I could help. Okay, now, back to the fight. I bet you forgot about this. They're still fighting. Which pants reign supreme? Looks like we got about two left, and... Oh, close fight, and the winner of this fight is the sponsor of this video, Squarespace.com, with a steel chair to the back. Oh, how could we not see that coming? Squarespace is the best place to make a website for absolutely anything. They got over 100 award-winning designer templates so that you could have a head start on wherever you want to go aesthetically. The easy part about this is they have a workflow system called Fluid Engine, which just makes things super easy to pick up, even if it's your first time here. They make making a website a simple grid system, so you just drag and drop pieces wherever you want them. And they even got an asset library, so everything that you need to take your website in an aesthetic direction is all in one spot. One of the biggest tools that I've been using for my brand is email capture. It's been the most effective thing. And you can create a landing page on your website to capture emails from people. And when you're ready to sell, Squarespace has all the integrated e-commerce tools that you need to create Create a web store on your website whenever. And you can even connect a Square Reader to your phone if your point of sale is in person and you can sell stuff on the Squarespace app. And everything is free to try at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. You can get a free trial of the website builder. And when you want to place an order, you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Go check it out now. Everything is live for you at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. The watermark jeans are out right now. Look at the I engineered the perfect pants for me. And if you really like me, maybe then you'll really like the pants. The pants are live. Watermark jeans are now live. Raised out online. Go check them out.